Yeah. You can tell him I said it. What what is your opinion and why do you think they sent Stephen A to those colleges to talk about me for over 10 years? So I'll tell you why. Um, I thought it was a bit is much bigger than Kwame Brown. And I wrote this in the article. Listen, I, I was um, a part of the union for a large majority of my time with in the NBA. Mm-hmm. So Billy Hunter had me um, on the negotiating team. So I'm sitting across from David Stern and everybody else while we're negotiating the collective bargaining agreements and things like that and going through a lockout and having meeting after meeting and things like that. So I'm there. I heard with my own ears, David Stern repeat almost verbatim the false narrative that Stephen A. Smith said about Kwame Brown and him trying to impose the age limit. And he was saying, this is the reason why we can't have high school players go straight into the NBA because they're not ready. And then he started. David Stern said that. David Stern said that. I I oh. heard it out of my with my ears talking. Him talking. I was right there. And he he, seemed, he seemed to he always have a hard on for me. He seemed to always have a problem with but, me. But, but it wasn't personal. It wasn't personal. It was because oh. he wanted to use you as the you know um, poster child for why high school athletes shouldn't go straight into the NBA. So it was oh. just he was that's and so Stephen A. Smith perpetuated that narrative over and over again and i heard him repeat the things that stephen a smith and and a lot of other people it wasn't just stephen a smith i mean Mm -hmm. i remember when there was articles in the washington post and the washington times um baltimore sun all these newspapers all around here in dc that were saying things like they were just making things up i mean I, i argue with um um, Alex Kennedy, you know, Alex Kennedy over at, um, you know what I mean? Basketball news. He, he's a good guy, but he always, he's trying to take up for the media. I'm like, no, he's like, well, maybe they just had bad information or they're, they're, you know, bad sources. No, they were making things up. They were lying. So they're telling these stories about Kwame Brown and he doesn't know how to order food. He doesn't know how to, you know, use the dry cleaners. He doesn't know what, you know, and I'm like, as soon as I remember reading the paper, with them, with them, and it was in the Washington Post, I believe. Sally Jenkins, I think, wrote an article. I didn't Is that who it was? Yeah, so, Sally Jenkins. Oh, Lord. So she was saying, if, if that was the one I'm talking about, but mm-hmm. it was the article was saying that Kwame Brown didn't know how to order food. And he doesn't, he didn't know that um, a waiter comes up and takes your order and then goes and gets the food. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, this is a lie. <laughs> we, we go out to eat on the road. This is not true at all. That's why I told that story of the Greek restaurant. See, they always try to introduce you to shit that you don't want to or things that you don't want to do. Right. And so I, I've, I've gone to different places that I've walked in rooms and I'm like, I'm out. And so they don't like men that do that. Mm-hmm. So I'm a 18, 19 year old kid. They take me to a Greek restaurant in L.A. And I'm trying to order a regular salad. It's not about me not knowing they come up. This salad got goat cheese, uh, all kind of stuff. I'm 18. I'm 19. I know I don't eat this at this point in time. So instead of trying to force me to be something that I'm not, uh, take me to McDonald's. <laughs> that's what we. <laughs> that's why I was on the bus. I was just <laughs> right. on the bus right. six, six months ago eating McDonald's. Right. So I ain't just gonna snap in Greek <laughs> right after. <that. laughs> so while they thought I was crazy, I'm just speaking common sense. Your son, your daughter that you just sent off to college. Uh, is eating the same thing that I'm eating. I don't want this Greek stuff, okay? Right, right. So I knew exactly what I wanted, and because I didn't bend, and when they keep saying, well, try this, just try it. I'm like, uh, no, I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> so they don't like people that do that.